Okay, here's the uh, second module in AI and banking. And this is the so-called FinTech, financial technology sector, which is basically all the banking startups. And there are surprisingly many of them. And unfortunately, there's not actually that much story about technology, even simple technology. It's all about money. Because <laughs> these, uh, I guess the financial industry operates at a huge scale. These companies have huge amounts of money. Uh, but I don't think they're paying software engineers. I think they're actually paying consumers to invest, to get accounts and things like that. They're just jump-starting their businesses. Well, I may be wrong, but there seem a staggering amount of money, as you'll see later on. Okay, so there was a really good report by CB Insights, which you can find on the web, and um, it. Uh, Here's a sort of a picture of what it covers. Um, these are these areas. There's quite a lot of interesting areas. Lending, um, Bitcoin and blockchain and things. Uh, regulatory technology, personal finance, you and me. Uh, payments and billing, um, insurance, making, I mean, Capital markets, where all the money's stored. Wealth management, rich people. Um, just um, nits and bits of getting money from here to there, and actually surprisingly large amount on mortgage and real estate. So this is actually, if you put all this together, it's quite a lot. And this maybe not so surprising, there's a lot of money here. All right, so here is this uh, plot of uh, over from 2014 to 2018. And what's striking is that the amount of the investment is really sorry. You will find it's going down now. And that this increase, here was the golden time to get started in FinTech. Lots of new companies were started then. Most of this money here is a higher, higher level, I mean, highest, Higher stage, you know, Series E or something investments, where they're putting yet more money into into startups they've already started the funding of. So here are the, the number of deals is high, uh, but I don't think that that many new companies and the volume of money is enormous. So here we have 40 billion dollars almost in 2018, staggering, and actually. I Probably, I think in dollar value, China is the largest. Okay, here, over here we have the total, VC Bank Financial Tech Funding. Notice this is only the first half of 2019. So it's got a little, somewhat under half the 2018 and under half the number of deals and value. So 2019 was not as strong a year as 2018, but it's still quite a good year. And you can see how it's plugging away and then has this peak uh, due to a large Chinese deal. Here we have Latin America, which is, you know, Latin America isn't the world's law, you know, comes to people's mind as the place to put large investment. But here we have, you know, $481 million in FinTech in Latin America. These are the local banks and local bank startups. And here we have China and uh, India. China is bigger than India, and especially in 2018. And they say China has a big investments. But all these numbers are large. You know, and I remember when I had a startup in 2000, this terrible time when all startups went bad. But we got, I don't know, a couple of million dollars or something total. So these are, these are these as I mentioned, these are high series. Uh, they're not the initial investments, they're the investments in already started up companies. Here are the um, 2018 deals. Um, these aren't the, necessarily the largest. We come to those a little later on. These were US based ones. Robinhood is well known because it was the one that canceled all fees on stock trading. And all the big companies uh, had to follow suit. Um, Coinbase is a Bitcoin-like company. Um, 
And here we have the level of funding, 1.27 billion, including Google. Alphabet is Google. And but half a million, sorry, half a billion, another half a billion, um, three billion. These are largest numbers here. And if you look at what they're doing, you see what they're doing. They're not necessarily highlighting AI. Tech-enabled health insurance, digital health care, mobile payments. So that's sort of a lot of these are the technology that glues everything together. And I guess there's just a lot of money to be made there because so many people are sending money from here to there. It's sort of surprising. I, until I looked at this data, never occurred to me the, the, this amount of money. This is far more money than you will see in other areas. Okay, here we have the FinTech unicorns. Total valuation, $150 billion. They all have an individual valuation of greater than 1 billion. And we have Asia, oh, lots of Chinese ones, one from Korea, South Korea, and two from India. South America, I pointed out, was non-trivial. Here we have Europe, it's just okay, but not a startling number. And a huge number in the USA, including the famous one, Robin Hood, which canceled stock market fees and persuaded all the larger companies to follow them. Coinbase is the Bitcoin one. And you can see devoted health, healthcare, uh, Roots, Zenefits, Symphony, Cabbage, Avant, Gusto. So then their valuations is always measured in billions of dollars, 20.3 billion for Stripe. I don't know how many people have heard of Stripe. Um, then in Europe, the number of the companies are not as big. In China, we have this one here, 38 billion, pretty big. Um, in Paytm in India, 10 billion. Here we have the, uh, the top five, which were uh, Ant Financial, that's Alipay over here. And this Chinese one presumably is a is a well known for all Chinese uh, students. And these people got $14 billion in May of 2018. Some of our charts didn't have that date in them. And here we have, uh, they, <coughs> they have um, $150 billion valuation. These are all much more modest here. They're measured in a few billion dollars. Um, so that's uh, pretty interesting. Here, here's a summary from the CB Insights document that um, 2018 was the world record for v fintech um, funding and uh, 52 mega rounds of 100 million or more. That's a pretty 52 or more than 100 million. That's staggering to me because these things aren't doing very much. They're just writing big data software. Dupe and Spark and things. There's not one of them which actually highlights huge amounts of AI. I'm sure they do use AI, especially the healthcare related ones. But, um, and there's also, it's global. US, UK, China, we did that. And also, I put that now is not the right, we should have done, all done a FinTech in 2013 or 14. Those are the winners. Um, and the Series A, which is the beginning Starter, starter funds as, as, is, um, is uh, a relatively uh, minor, modest part of everything. Um, and they say there are 39 unicorns we looked at worth 150 billion. And um, we expect it to be relatively lacklustre, everything to be lacklustre in 2019 with not so much IPO. Of course, 2020 is even worse for IPOs. Um, and we pointed out the um, importance of Asia, although the US actually is number one. And even South America has a really solid, solid, solid activity. 
Um, here we have Q3 2019 uh, with various activities. You know, 460 million to Klarna, which you've not heard of. Um, Robinhood, you had heard of, 323, at least I had. Uh, Stripe, which was the larger of the US ones, I think just a mere 250 million. Gasto, N26. That was the um, European one. So this was meant to be the largest quarter in 2019, and um, with 8.8 .8 billion in funding. And the US took the largest amount, but still not, uh, not, not uh, I mean, a little, a little tiny bit less than 50%. And just here to put us back in the real world, this is what I used to expect. Series A, two million. And this is a sort of AI company it's doing cybersecurity, which is usually built on AI to really uh, optimize things. And um, see we have machine learning and AI on fraud detection, which is a very well-known area where a huge amount of work has been done on AI. Look for outliers and things like that. The standard technology you'll find lots of papers on. And um, so here it points out the fraud was 1.6 billion in the UK. And this was a, I think a UK company if I remember rightly. And um, therefore there's a, you know, you can afford to invest a bit to save uh, these billions of dollars. So that's the end of this uh, particular module on FinTech. FinTech is just staggeringly big. But the time has passed to make for startups. You have to go and work for, work for the existing large unicorns with the ones that will survive. Not all of which will survive, I think.